Things everyone. 2020 Forerunner TRD Grill has arrived. It has been a long process. And uh, in front of me, I have the OEM TRD Toyota one, original from the dealer, plus the car trim home one. This is the genuine original one from uh, the dealer. These are the part numbers. So if you want to purchase the garnish front bumper, there you go. Do you want the grill radiator upper part? There you go. Um, these two make this. This is the one from Cartrim Home. I've been doing this, <clears throat> it's been two years. Um, what I do is I take these and then make it better. I just want to explain to you one thing. Um, I do this for the community. I don't do it for free. I don't gain any money from it. I don't make money from it. This is not my job. I do this for the community. And I share the coupons, which I'm supposed to making money with, with all of you. So I would truly appreciate if you guys click on my link so that I can keep doing these, um, I listen to you, what you want, what you request from me, and then I keep coming with new products. I have the, not the T10, but the Tesla model coming soon. And uh, I have basically this, which is the electric tailgate. I have two of them, not only one. This is not with Cartrim Home, but actually another company, which they manufacture Tesla's products. So guys, subscribe or whatever you want to subscribe. I'm not good at this. I'm straightforward, transparent. And support me, support you, fulfill your demand, and basically bringing you new products each time uh, there's something uh, new out there. Um, I just wanted to make a small note. This replica comes extremely well packaged. And I'm going to open it step by step. We're going to compare it to the OEM uh, factory one, dealer one. And what's the difference between this and that? <clears throat> the video is going to be on a couple of, if you see like it cut somewhere, because I'm trying to... Um, work with the uh, two hands they're, sti they're still sealed they're not open so I haven't opened them yet I'm going to open them as we speak and um, join the videos together so that I can make all in one um, for you to benefit from and understand what it is unfortunately I don't have a forerunner like a 2020 I have a 2017 one and I, I do already have my TRD grill on it. So basically, I'm not going to be... This is not an install video. This is for you to understand what kind of a grill it is. It is top of the line. The only one actually on the market. Nobody has done this. Um, and the price is very right. Dealer wants 1200 for these two pieces. So enjoy guys. And let me open them. I'll be back. Okay, so we'll start with the Cartrim Home one. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it really comes well packaged, guys. Some of you, or maybe one or two, told me that it wasn't well packaged, it was broken, etc., etc. If you don't see any marks on the outside of the carton, it's a thick carton. Like, I can't even it with the cutter so it doesn't even go through so bubble wrapped two pieces we have one second piece comes with the cleaning those are the bond so basically this is the adhesive i've seen a lot of people in the first version they use this on their um, 
middle piece, they ruined it. Please do not let touch, do not let this touch the middle piece. It's gonna become white because it's adhesive. It's common sense, guys. Then we have this kind of fake 3M sticker, which I detest, I hate, I don't know. Um, I use it, but it doesn't stick well. So what I do is I get mine from the um, local store and I'll give you a, a trick on how to put the, the grill on. So I was sent black and silver. Just for the purpose of this video, I wanted to show you that the black exists. The names come with a little niblet, whatever you want to call it, so that it sticks or there's a groove on the middle part uh, to be able to center it. So I'm going to unpack these and we'll continue. The middle part. 2020 middle part Forerunner has this groove over here for the TSS sensor. Some people I've seen, they trimmed it with a Dremel. It does the job. But then again, you would have gaps on the side. Just to let you know, OEM ones at the dealer has gaps. Some people have bigger gaps. Some people have smaller gaps. The trick is in the installment. I'll talk about it later on at the end. What I do is two ways. One, I use the 3M sticker, no problems. I've done my, I've done my truck with it. It's still uh, holding its place for three years now um, with the harshest winters and summers that we had in Canada. So second suggestion, to remove this whole thing, scrap it. Remove everything you see over here. Get a silicone, like a Loctite or 3M, any kind of silicone, a marine silicone. Put it in this place, exactly how it is. So you can have the same space because this is the most places that it sticks. Guys, the quality of this is amazing. So if people say the quality is not good, I don't believe you. I apologize. I don't believe you. This is A1, grade A, top of the line quality. So that's this piece. Now, this piece, which is the upper radiator piece. I don't care if there are defects at the back, which they're not, but at the back, even the OEM one has these, kind of. And this is needed for the upper grill. That's the quality. You can't go wrong. So now I'm going to open the OEM and compare them to the replica. These are the OEM ones. Comes with a catalog. Talking about the grill bracket. And then outer grill. And it even mentions the thing that I'm telling you all the time. When the temperature gets below 15, make the adhesive area warm. So some people that, you know, these won't stick or just detaches or whatever. There were two, three cases. That's because probably you installed it at the lower temperatures or 
at a higher even temperature, but um, the, the stickiness wasn't that uh, well done. That's why, as I mentioned multiple times already, I'm gonna give you a tip on how to do it best. So both of them come with a catalog and similar way that Cartoon Home packages it. That I uh, removed everything from its packaging. Toyota OEM one, the name comes on it. This one doesn't. If you realize there's not a single difference between the OEM and this one. Actually, there is a better improvement on this one. If I hold this example this way and I touch I match the bottom let me put it this way <clears throat> and I match this on this You see? And I flip it. If you see, the Cartrim Home one has a less gap than the TRD OEM one. And I'm touching the floor, both, and it's straight. So here's what I told you. I take this and I make it better. So please, I beg you, don't mention anything about the gap because TRD Pro OEM has a gap because some of you has OCDs and you complained on the first batch of the 2014 up to 2019. We made this. So <clears throat> these are the differences between the OEM and the TRD. Very simply, the TR, the OEM comes the name on it. This doesn't, which you have the ability to either have a black one or a silver one. In the back, cutout is the same, same length. Same spot. Sticker is the same. Nothing is different. If you can see the quality, eyes closed, I wouldn't know which one is which. Maybe this one, the OEM one, is a bit rougher. This one is smoother. That's the only thing. Under the white light, I see it. And between you and me, here's the OEM. I see some spots. If I come close, I see some spots. The truth, this one's better. Why? Because we improved it. So now let's talk about this. There you go, guys, in front of you. You have both. Same exact. This one says Toyota on it. This one, nothing. Let's move to the radiator, upper radiator grill. Okay, 
So the upper radiator grill OEM one is shiny-ish. This one is less shiny. The plastic, if you can hear it, that's the only difference. Apart from that, same durability, same exact one. Nothing is different. Holes are there. Imperfections are there. Nothing is different. Except Toyota name for sure. This two guys, same exact one. So if you want to convert your 2020 to a TRD grill, you need this piece and this piece. And for the fraction of the price. So if I compare side by side, nothing is different. What I want from you guys, I'm sharing the links at the bottom of this video. Please use my links. Contact me for exclusive coupons. On top of the low prices, I have exclusive coupons for my, for my members. Send me a message through Messenger. I would be more than happy to share it with you. Here's the upper grill, side by side. You have the groove, same thing here. Those screws, the groove, same thing there. Holes, hole, and two holes here. <clears throat> Thanks for watching guys. I'm always glad and happy to assist you and bring you new products. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, join my uh, Forerunner group and uh, the Car Trim Home, Home 9 group. The head unit links is gonna be links are gonna be in the description. Any of my videos, uh, if you need anything um, on the description of the product or the links, they are always provided in the in the description of the video. Remember that. Until next time, stay safe. And I'm glad I bring you new stuff once in a while. Be happy. Life is short. Have a great evening. That's a bonus uh, video, guys. If you ever need this, this is the OEM how-to preparation for runner grill. Let me know. Contact me through Messenger on Facebook through the link in the description. I'll send it to you.